today I want to talk about the, the rainy day fund and we shouldn't be looking at a rainy day fund when we have a crisis in housing and health and the recent stability program update shows why the so-called rainy day fund uh, should be scrapped. The 0.5 million uh, to be put aside next year will only be money diverted from services. It's more akin to a black hole than a rainy day fund. It is a crisis point now for 10,000 homeless people and hundreds of thousands of wait on the waiting list uh, and, and hundreds uh, of thousands on trolleys every day in our hospitals. They don't need reassurance that we're prepared for the future. They need things to happen now. And I think it's an insult to these people to say that people's money is better to be locked away while we see so many people uh, waiting treatment. I mean, I've just received a call from a woman who was to have a vital procedure uh, in Galway Hospital today, all ready to go and told we don't have any bed. Then we see the, the reductions in, in nurses over the last uh, number of years uh, and the reductions in Mayo as well. And the whole, I really do think that this, the money that's been set aside for the Rainy Day Fund should be put into these services that are needed right there and right now. And it also should be used for investment in rural Ireland, in infrastructure in rural Ireland. I spoke to last, last week about a whole community between Westport and, and Lewisburg that didn't have any water, that they don't have proper quality water. So I would ask that there would be a reconsideration of this rainy day fund and that the investment would be made there. And it makes absolute sense because then you have the multiplier effect in terms of job creation and all of that that vitally needs to be done now in, in rural Ireland. We've also had the, the disability um, uh, uh, act passed there recently in terms of the Convention for, Dis for People with Disabilities. That will require funding and substantial funding for, to enable uh, that to be put into action. And again, I would say that the money should be used for that uh, as well. But in an answer to my colleague Pierce Doherty, the Minister for Finance recently said that his intention remains to transfer 1.5 billion from the Ireland Strategic Investment Fund and to make annual transfers of 500 million per year in each year from 2019 to 21, as was published in last month's debate programme update. But what guarantees are there that this uh, will not just be a backup fund for bankers and specul speculators if they behave deplorably again? It has been said that this is to make our economy more resilient, yet the government continues to reference the economic crash when justifying its setup. I really think there needs to be a rethink about that, and I think it shows from government that there really isn't an understanding of the immediate issues that need to be addressed here and now. Certainly, if we were in a position, if we didn't have homeless people, if we didn't have people who were, were left on trolleys and waiting vital uh, treatment, then certainly, yes, a rainy day fund, but not under the circumstances we're currently at. Thank you, Cahirlip.